Hello and welcome back everyone. It's time for you to science lesson. We are now in unit 8, mixture. Today's topic is soluble and insoluble materials. I know you are ready, so let's get to it. Let's go. Let's go. In our previous lesson, we have learned few methods to separate a mixture. Let us do some revision. A mixture can be separated using the hand-picking method, the sieving method, magnetic attraction method, flotation method, and the filtration method. I hope you still remember these five methods. So, what are we going to learn in soluble and insoluble materials topic? In this topic, I want you to remember that soluble materials is the materials that can dissolve in water. Meanwhile, insoluble materials is the material that cannot dissolve in water. Let us look at what is Nisas doing to investigate the soluble and insoluble materials. Let's check it out. To investigate soluble and insoluble materials, Nisas conducted a simple investigation. She used two materials that she have at home. Alright, the first one is corn kernels and the second one is sugar. You may refer to your science here to textbook page 94. Now, Nisa adds two materials into a glass of water and stirs. Okay, Nisa stirs the mixture together and then let's observe what happened to the mixture. Alright, let's observe. Eh, where is the sugar? Why are the corn kernels still visible? Actually, the sugar is still there but it has dissolved in the water. The corn kernels are still visible because they don't dissolve in the water. So from this observation, we know that sugar dissolves in the water. Meanwhile, corn kernels don't dissolve in the water. So sugar is a soluble material. Meanwhile, corn kernels is insoluble materials. Actually, to prove this investigation, I have tried it myself. Here, let me show you. Here we have a glass of water sugar corn kernels now we add these two materials in a glass of water and stirs the sugar has dissolved in the water the corn kernels are still visible because they don't dissolve in the water. That is what really happened to the sugar and the corn kernel. From this simple investigation, we found out that some materials can dissolve in water, such as sugar. Meanwhile, some materials cannot dissolve in water, such as corn kernels. How can we know which materials can dissolve in water? Let's investigate. Well, actually, we are going to do more investigation in our next lesson. So, stick around. Alright everyone, for your next investigation, let's get ready with your science activity book and turn to page 58. In page 58, you will find this activity, observing the solubility of materials. Please write down the date. The apparatus and the materials that we need for this investigation are 4 beakers of the same size, glass rod, sugar, pebbles, food coloring powder, peanuts and teaspoon all right for this investigation i am going to show you in this video meanwhile you need to observe the investigation carefully and record your observation in this table and answer these two questions so are you ready let's check it out to do this investigation here i have four same size drinking glasses to replace the beakers food coloring powder, pebbles, sugar, peanuts, and teaspoon. To stir this mixture, I will use teaspoon instead of glass rod. First, we add food coloring powder into the 200 ml of water. Observe what happened to the food coloring powder. Next, we add pebbles into the 200 ml of water. Observe what happened to the pebbles.
Now, we add sugar into the 200 ml of water. Observe what happened to the sugar. Finally, we add peanuts into the 200 ml of water. Observe what happened to the peanuts. I hope you have done your observation. So, did you get the answer? If you do, please write down your answer here in the space provided in this table and answer these two questions. Alright, if you are not so sure, you can repeat this video. Alright boys and girls, that's about it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed throughout the whole activity. In our next lesson, we are going to do more investigation. So, stick around and see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.